I would like to yield to the, uh, the, the, our ranking member, Mr. Cummings, for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, when you um, told me that you were going to um, uh, select some photographs, uh, I was, um, you know, I didn't know what you were going to do. <laughs> but um, I must tell you, and uh, all of those who had anything to do with selecting these photographs, that they are absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, I used to um, say that my father, who only had a second grade education, but who educated all seven of his kids, I used to say that I was inspired by his aspirations. And when we look at these pictures, the ones of hardworking Americans in the pursuit of happiness and building our country, I believe that their stories, I mean, just looking at them, should inspire all of us uh, to uh, be the very best that we can and to lift up their lives and people, the people like them, their lives. And then, you know, you look at the um, other ones that show our environment. I think it should be a reminder that we do have a sacred duty to um, pass on to our children an environment uh, which is just as good as or better than the one that we inherited. You know, it said that we do not inherit our environment from our ancestors, but we borrow it from our children. And I say the same thing about our democracy. And so, um, and last but not least, Mr. Chairman, you, you know, you really uh, did a hell of a job when you put the Selma one right there, because it just reminds me every time I look at it. Uh, for four years before that, uh, in Baltimore, it reminded me of us marching, little kids. We were marching, trying to integrate a pool called Riverside Pool, uh, and. It was all white school, uh, pool. We were beaten, but yet and still we marched in the pursuit of happiness. And so I'm, I still have to say that I am hoping that this will be, these photos will be an aspiration, will be an inspiration because of the aspirations of these folks who made America what it is. Thank you very much.